good morning. I am back to share with you my latest custom order. These are for two young ladies that I hope this starts a lifelong journey of journaling. But I hope that for everybody that has the journal. Um, okay, so I'll try and get them both in one video. We'll start with this one. This one I made from a greeting card. It's cardstock, and then I backed it with cardstock, glued, sewed around. I've reinforced the eyelets with another piece of cardstock, which I have stenciled. It's this gallop circle punch. And then we've got some lace trim on the spine. Beautiful sunflowers, and then on the back more sunflowers, and a bee stamp that Rita sent me. Isn't that cute? And then we've got twine on the closure, and a little, let's see if we can get that, little bird charm. And let's go inside. I've done stenciling throughout. This is a book plate that I found it in an estate sale. Those are the best places to find old vintage stuff. Um, I've used mostly stationery in this journal. Either old, new, vintage, all different kinds. Done a belly band out of cardstock and the images are from Artie Mays and the butterfly I believe is from her also. And then behind it, we have one of her, Artie Mays' journal cards, which is so cute. And then I've seen some in the back. And then a journal card that I've stamped. She can journal on the back. I've um, edge punched on some of the pages. A tuck spot here with beautiful tag. Seam binding throughout, of course, comes from Laura's shop. A paper soul. This is Mrs. Cox, and Walk in the Light is from um, my porch print. And then I backed it with car, index card, and a little bit of stenciling on that also. Washi stickers, thank you, Rita. Come from Rita. Aren't those beautiful? Never had such big ones before. But look at these. I found these on Etsy. Aren't they adorable? those ones and those ones just cute as can be Whoop. and slippery okay more beautiful stationery Cor uh, excuse me corner tuck and a tag that I've made this is images from Tracy Fox journal on the back this is Artie Mays of her jars. Left to open for extra journaling space. This is just note paper I have in my stash. More edge punching. A tab. All the tabs come from Artie Mays also. Censure myself. I always keep moving around thinking that you can't see it. You can't see it because I'm moving it around, I know. Um, Artie Mays pocket and a journal card and a tag to what, more of what makes you happy. This is from Amity Bloom. It's a die cut I have Tracy Fox and the Tracy Fox Artie Mays tag kit backed onto parchment paper. More Artie Mays. More edge punching. Beautiful stationery. This is from Ephemera's Vintage Garden, and so is this, backed onto index card, and stenciled on the back. Found this at an estate sale, I don't know if it's hand done, or hand colored, or I'm not sure, but it's pretty. And in the center we have a flower. Random numbers from Tracy Fox. Another Ephemeris Vintage Garden as well as 
this one. I thought I'd hurry and do all this before the storm gets here. It's now veering off to other places, but you never know about a hurricane. They kind of tend to do what they want to do. And you just, whoops, and you just hope that you're not in the way of what it wants to do. And you pray for those that are in the way. Lots of journaling space in here. Another of the washi stickers. A little image I found on Pinterest. And I've stuck one of my envelopes. These I sell in my shop. They're all different kinds, of, all different images. Some are blank that you can stamp or stencil or emboss. And inside, we have a little teeny Tracy Fox journal card. We'll call it a journal card. It's right in there. And you got the little bird peeking out. And this is a dimensional butterfly. Another corner to pocket. Journal card. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And journal on the back. Postcard comes from Ephraim's Vintage Garden, packed it onto card stop. Another side tuck. This is a stamp that I did, and then I just die cut it out. And then I put another square on the back and turned it into a pocket. For this journal card, I choose to be happy today. And my sunflower stamp and a little stamp something. She can journal on the back. right in there. Another journal card, hopeful. And this is um, Screech Owl Studios, I do believe. A journal on the back. Another belly band. Another sunflower. More stenciling. Perfect love cast without fear. I've left it for a pocket. A heart die cut she can journal on or use anywhere in the kit. She can set it right there and glue here and here and have it be a little tuck spot. However she wants to use that. And a little tag that I've stamped on. And then I've added these little post-it roses that she can put wherever she would like. It's just a little clump of them. Use them however she likes. She can use them for or little quotes or dates on the pages. And that's the first one. Here we have the second one. A little bolt pin that's holding a charm. I guess this is fun. Crochet trim on the spine. And a ribbon closure. At the front and the back of the book is Rita Donnelly. Isn't that oh, just beautiful? And then this is from Artie Mays. As I've loved you, love one another. It's a pocket. This I made using these that I found at an estate sale. I thought yeah, it's a fairly good weight cardstock. And the ones that I can't really journal on. I guess I could. Uh, what do you call it? Gesso. We should try that out. Yes, we should try that on one and see what happens. But for now, we have one that I've done with beautiful cardstock and um, Tracy Fox, random numbers, and then lines on the back. The bumblebee. <laughs> the bee stamp again. Oh, it's been a long day already and it's only eight. <laughs> a key and a bag and a heart die for her. And she also gets this wonderful quote. I like that one. A little pocket here for a tag from Tracy Fox and a 
have this really cool die cut that makes this little teeny petal envelope. And inside is a floral journal card. A little teeny. I don't know what you do with it either. Put a date on it, something, or just look at it and say, dang, that is so cute. However she wants to use it. And hopefully you get it. Nope. And hopefully. <laughs> oh, I'll do it later. <laughs> goodness. Oh my goodness. Line paper. This one has a die cut I got in a swap. This is friends. Um, index card. Butterfly. Journal card. Tucked in there. Paper clip holding a dress form from the innkeeper. I trimmed it with some lace. I got from Verda Diddy. Thank you, Verda. This is Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Beautiful pink envelope. And it opens for a journal card from Artie Mates. No, no, Mrs. Cox. Excuse me. This is, um, Screech Owl Studios, pretty little angel, and I've corner punched a butterfly in the center, the library card comes from Tsunami Rose, and on the other side, Nectar's Creation, I had left over from another journal I did. And a journal card. Postcard from Ephraim's Vintage Garden. You open it and there is a butterfly tag. Or a journal card, whatever you want to call it. A scripture pocket. I don't know where I got those. Must have been a swap, but aren't they pretty? Pretty pink fabric flowers on a tag. A little bit of washi. The other half of the glassine bag. We have a tuck spot here with some pretty pink stationery with a key stamp on it. And inside Two more journal cards, both from Mrs. Cox. The last pocket, another beautiful tag. This is from, I think it's a freebie or a dollar one from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. Packed onto cardstock, sewn around. And another postcard from Ephemeris Vintage Garden. This one I've backed onto an index card and then added a little notebook with just some pretty little papers in it. And she also gets little post-its to use where and how she likes in the book. And there's the back. I hope they like them, and I hope you liked it. Have a great day, and like and subscribe. Thanks, bye-bye.